This is Dr. El Rashidi uh, presenting a case of a 17 year old high school senior, uh, big kid, 6'3, 300 plus pounds, uh, defensive lineman who sustained a posterior force uh, during blocking with resultant shoulder pain. Uh, so, as we start our diagnostic scope of establishing anterior cannula, and we're evaluating um, a lot of the structures in the anterior and superior labrum, including the anterior labrum itself, which looked great the subscapularis, which was intact, and his biceps, uh, which looks very healthy. In addition here, you can see he has no evidence of a, of a slap tear. But as we pull back and start to look a little more uh, posterior and posterior inferior, you can see uh, a lot of torn, damaged uh, labral tissue. So at this point, what we'll do is, is switch from viewing posterior and view now anterior superior and establish a posterior cannula. Um, in this kid in particular, we had to use a longer uh, nine millimeter cannula, uh, just given uh, the thickness of the soft tissue. And again, you can see uh, what is uh, termed a reverse bank cart, a posterior labral tear beginning at the posterior inferior labrum and extending superior. So this is uh, just behind um, six o'clock at approximately the seven o'clock position. And you can see a large unstable uh, flap tear. One of the reasons he was likely having a fair amount of uh, pain and significant mechanical symptoms despite rest, rehab, and then an attempt to go back and play. So we are gonna repair this tear and we start by debriding all of the torn uh, labral tissue until we can more clearly delineate the intact labrum and the site of the tear at the glenoid labral interface. So now what we're doing here is using uh, what's called an elevator or a liberator instrument to um, mobilize the tissue. We never want to repair tissue under tension and we want good mobilization. So we're kind of peeling back the scarred, torn labrum off of the glenoid in order to mobilize it for uh, what will then be a posterior bank cart repair. I alternate between the liberator and the arthroscopic shaver, debriding uh, any non-viable softened or diseased cartilage as well as any degenerative uh, labral tissue until again we have a healthy uh, labrum that's ready for repair as well as uh, excellent prep preparation of the glenoid uh, to accept the repair. I will use the shaver both in oscillate mode as well as in burr mode uh, so that we can get down to a healthy bleeding uh, cancellous bone bed. This is a raptor ranger. It's often very helpful in these kind of cases to take away some of the edge of diseased cartilage. And again, we're using the shaver and burr mode here. So now we're going to begin our bank cart repair, excuse me, our reverse bank cart repair. And so we place our first posterior inferior anchor and we retrieve one suture out of our anterior cannula. Now we're using a spectrum suture passer to get a good healthy bite of posterior inferior capsule and labrum. And then using a standard relay technique, we will relay one limb of the anchor through the tissue and then tie this down uh, with a arthroscopic sliding locking knot ensuring to do not just a reduction uh, from medial back onto the glenoid face but it's also an inferior to superior shift very similar to a uh, standard bank cart repair except in the back of the shoulder. Now you see us drilling our second uh, suture tech labral anchor and then impacting that down. There's a nice little laser line which shows us the depth with which to sink the anchor. And then once again we will relay one suture out of the, our accessory anterior portal. Use a penetrator to get an excellent bite of uh, labrum and capsule and then tie this down with an arthroscopic sliding locking knot. You can see an excellent restoration of the bumper, and you can start to see his, his humeral head, which is uh, 
recentering nicely. Past pointing and tying down our sutures. And then this is our final, most superior uh, number three anchor. Again, being impacted down, relayed, and tied down. And here are some pictures of our final repair.